And now for question number 15, February, March 2020, the IGCSE paper 2. Here we have a question about angles in circles. Question number 15. All right, so now it says A, B, C and D lie on the circle. A, B, C, D lie on the circle. So we can see that A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, that's one thing we can see. Okay, all four corners lie on a circle. That means it's cyclic quadrilateral and it has some special properties which we probably will have to use. PCQ is a tangent to the circle. Now the tangent to the circle meets the radius at 90 degrees. The radius isn't drawn here. Anyway, ACQ is 64. So AC is a chord because A and C both are on the circumference of the circle. Work out, work out angle ABC, giving reasons for your answer. Okay, so we've got to find this angle here. This angle over here. Now, what we can do is, because this angle here meets the chord AC, all right, the angle the, between the tangent and the chord, okay, there's a theorem called the alternate segment theorem, where an angle that stands on a chord, for example, ADC, ADC, the angle ADC is subtended by the chord AC, stands on the chord, okay, is equal to the angle made between the tangent of to the circle and that chord at the point where the tangent touches the circle. So AC is the tangent, PCQ is, so AC is a chord, sorry, PCQ is a tangent, the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle standing on that same chord but on the opposite side of the circle. So this angle is going to be 64 degrees. All right, and because this is a cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So we can say that the angle ABC, which we want to find, is equal to 180 minus 64, which gives you 100 and 16 degrees. Okay, 100 minus 60, 180 minus 60 is 120 minus another 460. So that's the answer to the question. Now they're asking to, for us to give us reasons, and I kind of went through those reasons. So you can say because angle ADC, okay, is equal to angle BCQ, which is equal to 64, and the reason being the alternate segment theorem. Okay, theorem. And also, you can say that angle ABC plus angle ADC add up to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? So that's basically the reasoning behind it. Now some people they don't see this alternate segment theorem. I've noticed that some students you know they're pretty good with most of the angles in circles but when it comes to this one they kind of have a problem somehow and um, you know there is another way of doing it which I'm going to show you as well for those students who just can't see this or they don't understand this alternate segment theorem and what it is in this particular case I'm gonna draw in this diagram, I'm going to draw some lines to help us. What I'm going to do, do is I'm going to just say, let's say the center of the circle is about here. Just we're assuming it's somewhere there. Okay, we're calling that the center of the circle, so I'll call that O. Okay, then I'm going to make a line between C and O. And that's the tangent I'm meeting. That's the tangent meeting the radius there. Okay. Um, so I know that I'm also going to join a line between O and A, like this, because I'm trying to find this angle here, so this is going to help me. All right, so now, I know that the angle between here and here is 90 degrees. Yeah, the tangent meets the radius at 90 degrees. Therefore, the angle here must be 90, 90, take away 64, which is going to be 26 degrees. If this is 26 degrees, then this also must be 26 degrees because this is the radius, this is the radius, this is an isosceles triangle. 
And if those two are 26 degrees, then this must be 180 minus 2 times 26, which is 180 minus 52, which is going to be 128. Okay, so this is 128. So we worked out that this is 128. Now, if this is 128, then this must be, because it, this angle is standing on these two points and it's subtended to the center. So it's standing on the chord AC. Also standing on the chord AC is the angle ADC. But that's at the circumference. So it must be 128 divided by 2, which is 64. So this is 64 as we worked out in one step by knowing that this is alternate segment. And if that's 64, then this must be 180 minus 64, which is 116. So we come to the same answer. It's a bit longer, okay, but maybe it's using things that you're more familiar with. And then you'd have to go through all the palaver ex of explaining what you did there. So you'd have to say, you know, joining C to the center of the circle, then the angle OCA is equal to 26 because, uh, you know, it's 90 minus 64. The tangent meets the circle. The, the tangent meets the radius at 90 degrees. And then you can say angle um, OCA must be 128 because the angles in this isosceles triangle. And then angle ADC must be a half of OAC because angles at the center of the circle are twice angles at the circumference. And then opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So ABC is 180 minus 64. So a bit longer to explain and do. But some students, they, they just can't picture this alternate segment theorem for some reason. Okay, but of course you see it'll be much quicker if you're able to do that, much quicker. Okay, so there we have the answer to this question, and we're going to go on to question number 16, but if you'd like to see other questions from this paper, then you can click over in this playlist here, other questions from the topic of geometry, angles, click over here. Um, if you would like to see questions from paper 4, which I will do and put in the playlist, that should be available from this card when I'm done. And you can click over here to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.